Hi there and welcome back if you're returning, if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, I'm a seer so I tap into past, present and future energies, I'm a psychic medium and a healer and I'm an open channel for spirit. So whatever comes through and these messages come through, I bet most of my readings right now are twin flame related because I am a twin flame myself. So if you're engage, guided to this channel for any reason, it could possibly be that you're a twin flame yourself. So I hope you find the answers you're looking for here. So hello and welcome. And hello to everyone who's just subscribed. I am truly grateful to anyone who takes the time to subscribe or share my videos or anyone who comments or likes. I am truly grateful for all the love and support this channel has from all my regular subscribers and all the new subscribers who have recently joined as well. I'm truly grateful and I love when people say hello, I'm new. Um, and it's so nice to hear from new subscribers as well. So thank you so much. And I'm truly grateful for everything. Um, so um, let's begin as I always do, calling in beautiful heavenly support for myself and for you watching at home. Calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light, and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you now for your love, guidance, and gratitude throughout. As I bring forward this message to the Twin Flame Collective. Archangel Michael, can you please surround my children, my dog, my home, and myself in a golden bubble of God's protective light at all times? As I bring forward a clear message for the Twin Flame Collective. Can I also ask that you surround whoever watches this message online, surround them, their loved ones, their home and pets in a golden bubble of God's protection also. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron, can I ask that you please stabilise the connection between myself and spirit, ensuring that only clear and concise messages can come through for the collective's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Sending love, light and gratitude to you all. Thank you for being here, for your love, your guidance, your protection and wisdom. And so it is. Okay. Let's clear the energy and then I'll tell you a bit about tonight's message. soul shivers. So, a couple of songs coming through. Now, the main song I've been hearing today. Each night before you go to bed, my baby, send a little, say a little prayer for me, my baby. Um, this is dedicated to the one I love. This message is dedicated to the one that loves you. So, and I've heard a few other songs today as well. I heard, um, if I, this is someone who, I watched you go. Um, you know, I'm trying to remember who sings Dedicated to One I Love. Was it the Mamas and the Papas? This song, um, I watched you go. Um, you took my heart with you, oh yes you did. So this is someone who loves you, but they let you walk out their life anyway because they were too scared to tell you how they felt. And now they're saying, if you come back in my life, I'll be with you till the end of time. That song by Blue and it's called um, Back in My Life. I also heard, um, what's the other song I kept hearing today? 
oh, a song by the Spice Girls. Now, I don't really listen to the Spice Girls, but I know it was a song by them and it's called Say You'll Be There. Um, now you tell me that you're falling in love. <laughs> it's all about people who, so a couple who were friends. Um, but one friend started to fall in love with the other friend and that what the person, one of the, the friends didn't see it, but now they're starting to reciprocate. Now the person who pushed them away or the person who loved them is now like, so what, now you love me? Um, so this is now someone saying, I want to give you everything, but they found it hard to say they, lo they loved you. So that's the three songs. And um, I'm trying to think if there's any other song came through. So I did write down a couple of songs. Um, any other, what other song came through? No, no, that was it. Dedicated to the one I love is the one I kept on hearing from when I woke up this morning. Um, and then the other two kind of came through during the day. So I can tell you there is someone here, this message dedicated to the one I love. So I'll, I'll title the message. Um, now, this, I'm not too sure, um, i probably do a full past life reading tomorrow night. This could be for this couple as well. Um, and I've had a really strange day. Um, I, this, I had a heavy, heavy dream download last night. Um, and then I heard something about King, King Farouk this morning during my prayer. Um, I had a little wobble regarding my, my divine purpose this morning and I wanted just a wee bit of confirmation from God that I was on the right track with everything I was doing, with the guidance I was giving people out with YouTube and stuff as well. Um, and I got the signs, which was beautiful. I got lots of signs today, including two rainbows. And um, during my meditation tonight, I had a powerful energy visit me. Um, no, it was, while I was in deep meditation, I saw like an older face with a long beard come quite close to me. Now I could tell it was an old man's face, and um, I didn't, I didn't know who it was or anything like that. But I just felt this energy very, very close. Um, but it wasn't like a scary presence or anything. It was a quite a calming energy. And then um, I heard Melchizedek. So. So this is either, now I think Melchizedek definitely, I felt he was coming to reassure me throughout my meditation that I was on the right track and also I feel like I've been taking some time out from doing like my personal readings and stuff for a while because I want to focus on studying and working on my own projects a bit more and I feel he is definitely that energy for that as well. But this also tells me there could be someone here um, I'm picking up on who's, who is understanding their divine mission now. They're getting a bit more assistance from Melchizedek themselves. Um, so this could be a masculine that's just went through an awakening. I need pulling on your energy. So this masculine could definitely be pulling on your energy, feminine. You could be feeling quite emotional. You could be going on, you could be feeling... You could go be going between feeling really emotional, wanting to cry, and then feeling quite um, sort of anxious, and then possibly quite kind of um, stroppy, you know, like. Um, so I definitely feel there could be a masculine going through some sort of um, dark night of the soul, and possibly they're working with me because they're at the moment. Uh huh. But this is their dedication to the one they love. So I'm actually using mostly of my own deck tonight. So I have the song deck because I told so many songs today. I have um, my, I, I officially got my, um, I'll show you. I'm going to draw seven cards for in a moment. Um, anyone who's been watching my channel for a while, I, I usually use a big deck of index cards for my no communication that's all, um, masculine energies um word to their feminine that i channeled into a big white index card deck 
and I finally um, made it into an actual deck of cards. So there we go. Um, and I actually painted this last year in acrylic, this rose. So it was really nice that I could use this. And as I was designing this deck online, I kept on hearing You Should Let Me Love You in my head, the song You Should Let Me Love You. So that's why I called the deck Let Me Love You Oracle Deck. So I'm so excited to use this for the first time. It's just all the meshes that I have in my index card deck, except I've made it into a beautiful no contact deck. So, so let's see, let's do this. So I'll do one more shuffle actually. Just one more shuffle and then I'll split the deck. Okay. So let's do a seven card spread because I've been doing a seven card spread just to get um, a rough idea of what energies we're working with. And I have got my Ascended Masters deck because obviously after I finish my meditation, I come down and grab that deck. And every time I shuffled it, Mel Kaze deck came out. So clearly um, there's definitely some powerful energy with Mel Kaze deck there. So can I get um, past the energy, please? Four of Pentacles. Now in the past, this is somebody who, now Four of Pentacles is somebody who can be quite greedy, quite controlling as well. Um, the Four of Pentacles can be someone who is very focused on materialism and the material world. Um, this can also be someone who was refusing to let go of a situation or a person or an energy. Um, can I get present please? Nine of Wands. Okay, so I feel that someone's going through this right now. Somebody has really... Um, Best way I can describe is somebody who is like, they're having to try and swim to shore and they can see the shores close and they keep swimming and swimming but they keep having to stop because they're like starting to go under because they're so tired, they're so weary from swimming towards the shore but they can see the shoreline up ahead so they know they have to keep going. This is the energy I'm feeling right now. Somebody who is determined to keep going at all costs even though they're exhausted and drained Future energy, please. Queen of Cups. So this tells me this person, this is what this person could be. This could be the shore the person's fighting to get to here. The woman they love. Now this, as I say, I've been hearing dedicated to the one I love all day. There's someone here, there's an energy here who, like you walk out their life, they didn't try and stop you. They they just were too proud to tell you that they loved you. Or they didn't recognise it as love. And I think they probably, I honestly feel they, there were some sort of toxic energy in their past as well who maybe put them off the idea of love or put them off the idea of commitment or something like that. Current situation, please. Yeah. There's someone here who is really feeling the loss of your energy. Mm. Obstacles and challenges, please. Ace of Cups. This person challenge is actually to show you that they do love you. I feel this. I feel like God has said to this person, if you want if you want your person back, you need to show them you love them. You need to have the strength to actually show them you love them. You need to be strong enough to actually give them the love that, that they've always given to you, that you never showed them back. This person deeply regrets letting you go, but also not telling you that they loved you. That's why this... That's why this message is so important. It, it, it finds its destination. And I'll try and get some extra details, obviously, as well. Mm -hmm. Hopes and fears. <laughs> King of Swords. So I think that is the hope is the hope is that this masculine can come in and, and truly be honest and be that loyal, reliable person you need him to be. But I think he also fears 
that his words can be a bit harsh because I'm looking at all the, the sharp edges in that photo, which makes me think he has been, now I'm saying he could be a she, they have been very sharp with their words. And I don't know where this person fears that they have been too, that they've said too much or they've been too harsh or they've been too cold. Um, you know, like if this person, if you said to this person, you know, you're more than a friend to me, I love you, they might have said something quite harsh back, like, well, you're just a friend with benefit to me or something. This is someone who, they have a fear that their words were too harsh at one point. Possible outcome for this moment, Ten of Wands. Now, the Ten of Wands isn't a bad outcome because that means this person's finally getting ready to put down the burdens. They're finally getting ready to um, drop the burdens. They don't. They no longer want to be stuck in this overthinking energy. But I do feel this person is definitely going through some sort of... They're going through some sort of awakening or they're definitely some sort of darkening of the soul, possibly. But they want to fight for this. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups. So this person may have walked away from you because, or they, or this is literally you walking away from them. But this can also be the energy of your person's walking away from being the Ten of Wands because it came out after I brought out, brought the Ten of Wands. So this person's either walking away from being burdened about what happened in the past because I think this person is burdened about what happened in the past. Um, but this could also be because you walked away from them. Because I just keep on hearing that line. I watched you go. You've taken my heart with you. Oh, yes, you have. So, yeah. This, when you walked away from this masculine, it, it broke him even more. And I think that's probably what's put him through his dark night of the soul. But I feel like you had to do that in order to push him to go through his dark night of the soul. The world card. Because there's a new cycle coming in here. Queen of Coins and the Ace of Swords and the Three of Wands. So, and there's just having the Pentacles as well. And the Emperor. So, whoops, my card just fell on the floor. Five of Wands in the reverse. It just landed on the floor and I picked up and it was in reverse. So, well, that's that's a good sign. Five of Wands in reverse. No, no more conflict or no more mental conflict either. Um, so there is a truth coming in here. This person is getting ready to move forward. With the three of wands, they now understand. They understand what they have to do here. They could be wanting a new cycle here with a queen of pentacles. So this could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Or just a feminine sitting in that energy. Kind of um, very established, very grounded, very, you know, um, perfect wife material. For someone, someone who has it all, basically, she's got her ish together. She's doing really well for herself. But she's also the Queen of Cups up here. So this is someone who's very compassionate and loving and stuff. She could have fire and earth in her chart. But this Emperor is now getting ready to invest in this situation. I just, I just keep on hearing, you know, I was wrong to not, to not um, speak sooner. But I do think this person... They weren't ready to speak sooner. That was trouble. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. This love connection is wish fulfillment. And right behind that is the Three of Cups. Celebration. Engagement. Marriage. Can you tell me what kept this masculine from opening up sooner? What kept this masculine from speaking his truth sooner? Yeah, he had to heal from a past relationship. I felt that this masculine had a very toxic connection before they met you, feminine. Now, this could have been a very karmic connection they were in. They could have, the, the karmic they were attached to could have um, been sleeping around behind their back. 
major trust issues. This this masculine had major trust issues. He was, he had to heal. He had to heal from a previous relationship. This you might come into his life too soon, feminine. Um, at the time when he was just needing a friend, not a lover. Um. Six of Wands. <laughs> this is going to be a victorious um connection. Very successful. A lot of love here with Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. Judgment's in the bottom. So this person has made a decision over this. That's this person. You met this person when they were just recovering from a karmic relationship that left them really drained and heartbroken and very jaded towards relationships and then they may have just wanted a friend and not a lover and then when you come into their life, you know, your twin flame, their, as a twin flame, you triggered them because you were wanting something they weren't able to give. Yeah, Knight of Wands and Five of Cups. This person regrets, this person may have said to you, I just want to sleep around now. I've been stuck in a long-term relationship for the last 15 years and now I just want to have some fun with other people. I don't want to go into another long-term commitment. And this person regrets that. They may have said to you, I'm not ready for commitment. I've just come out of a commitment where I, f I was stuck in for years. Because I do feel this person definitely is healing from a karmic relationship. And as I say, they may have said to you, I'm not ready to go from one commitment into the other. They were very jaded about commitments and about love. But they regret that now. Five of coins. Yeah, they felt that this connection wasn't going to be enough for them. They felt like it was going to be lacking something to really keep them. Um, and then they let you walk away when you said, fine. You don't want, you must have up your boundaries for them and said, look, if you don't want me, if you don't want my love, you don't want a commitment with me, I'm moving on. And they let you go. And it created a tower. <laughs> Yeah, I felt that right from the start. This person went through a tower when you walked away. Lace of Pentacles and the Chariot. This person's preparing to come forward and tell you how much how much they mean to, how much you mean to them and how much they regret letting you go. Yeah, two of wands. Knight of Coins in the bottom. So this person has really been struggling to make a decision whether to actually return to with some sort of offer. But I don't think they can do anything but come towards you now with an offer because they now understand, yeah, Eight of Wands, for, um, Eight of Wands and the Hierophant. This person knows the only way that they can come towards you now is if they're offering you this traditional, some sort of commitment some, I mean, this is, yeah, this person now wants, they know they have to come in and offer you something very substantial in order to make you understand that they are serious about you. Can you tell me what this person wants um, when they come back towards this feminine here? Tell me what this person is hoping for when they return to their feminine here. What What is this person hoping for? To speak their truth. They're hoping to come forward here. Come in. They want to be they want to be um able to come in and tell you the truth of why they overanalyze the situation. This is some this is fast moving energy. They've definitely went through some sort of dark night of the soul and some sort of awakening here with a hanged man. But they now want to move quickly after being been through a period of being stuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to bring justice to the situation. This person may also have had to deal with some legal matters before they could come back to you. So this could have been tying up a divorce or something as well. You know, child maintenance, something like that from a previous karmic connection. They had to close out that cycle. Yeah, look, somebody, something from their past. Something possibly to do with children, so look at all the toys and stuff down there. But this person is also really missing you. They're they're really nostalgic. They're missing you. Judgment. 
we've made a decision. Ten of Cups. Yeah, they they've they have made a decision of where their happiness truly lies. They they understand now where their happiness truly lies. Page of Wands wanted to jump out. I'm just going to get this together and clarify because most of my cards are on the table now, so I can't really clarify when all the cards are out. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Cups is out already, so that in itself speaks volumes. And the Nine of Cups. Um, yeah, Ten of Cups. The World, so beautiful cycle, Six of Wands. I mean, the beautiful cards out on this table, and we've got the Ace of Swords as well. And there's the Ace of Cups. The only one we never got was the Ace of Wands. So let's see. King of Wands, Nine of Wands. So this, this is definitely someone who wants to come in here. Passionate, ready to take on the mantle of being the, the true Romeo you need them to be. Um, there could have been some difference in cultural backgrounds as well. I don't know why I'm feeling that, maybe. It could be to do, to do with your spirituality and religion and stuff as well. Okay. Right. So can we just clarify this person um, is coming back here to their feminine? Are they coming back sincere and are they ready now to offer commitment? <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, well, yeah. They're just giving me the same cards they gave me right at the start, which is amazing. I mean, you saw me shuffle the cards and they're just giving me, look, the same cards they gave me at the start with the seven card spread. So this person, they they were very, um, they were very stingy with their love and their time and their energy. They did not want to give to this connection before. They were holding back due to a lot of control issues they had in a previous connection, I feel, and they were, they were definitely refusing to um, give more than what, they were determined not to give to this connection more than just friendship. As I say, I get this, I don't want a lover. And in fact, I've got that song in that deck of cards that might come out of it. I get this, I don't want a lover right now, I just need a friend because they just wanted someone to have a bit of fun with. So this person did not want to give off their love, their energy, or anything like that. But now, in the current situation, they're going through this nine of wands, trying to swim towards the shore, trying to get to their goal here. Of actually having the courage to come forward to the woman that they love. This is dedicated to the one I love. And look what came out on the table. Ace of Cups. This person regrets the time it's taken them to figure this out. They regret the time it's taken for them to actually see what they've lost with you, Feminine. What, what's going to be the outcome here? Yeah, this masculine, he just realised that all the time he was fighting this connection. Now, Scott, remember, sword, swords are th thoughts. Swords are mental. Um, They're not physical. So the Five of Swords, that's somebody who's really fought their own intentions with you. And they lost everything because of it. This is someone who was, you know, constantly um in a mental conflict over this. They may have thought that pushing you away or letting you, not even pushing you away, but letting you go away, letting you walk away was going to be in their best interest because then they could go out and be a knight of wands. Um, but then it didn't make them happy. It, it made them the opposite of happy. It made them this. And then put them through an enlightenment, an awakening. Definitely have brought a tower down anyway. Yeah, again, there's, so, wow, look, and, oh, wow, yeah, hide a font in the bottom, so that's us got the King and Queen of Cups out here. This masculine is now ready to be open up and be emotional. There's definitely some, I've got Three of Cups, well, there's definitely some, some sort of traditional offer coming in here, definitely. There's a Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers, so this definitely could, this feminine could have Earth in her chart. She could, um, she could look at Virgo Venus or something. 
but she could have heavy earth placements. I'll get some zodiac signs in a moment, but this, yeah, definitely powerful counterparts here. <laughs> the card is just threw in the table, oh my goodness. So yeah, temperance. There has been a lot of patience and stuff required here, but this is healing, this is harmonising, this is bringing balance back. This is obviously angelic guidance as well, so a lot of angelic guidance for this connection. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is all about alchemizing and balancing as well. Because, look, you know, when you see the alchemizing here, definitely this has been a lot of balance required and harmonizing. But this person's no longer interested in their options. They've been enlightened about who and where their happiness truly lies. They, they were disillusioned in the past about what they wanted, but they've got perfect clarity now. They they see they see through the fog. I just feel this person just was not ready to they were healing from a past relationship and that's why they never offered you something sooner. Yeah. Again the page of swords and the king of swords. This person said some angry words to you, harsh words. Because the page of swords can be harsh words. Um and there's a six of cups. So this person definitely regrets something that they said in the past to you that was quite harsh, that was quite cutting, that could have made you officially walk away and go, no, do you know what? I deserve better than to be spoken to like that. You, this person may have really, really hurt you so much. They may have like self-sabotaged at you. 10 of cups and the wheel of fortune. This is a happily ever after that's destined for you and this person. This is a destined happily ever after. Yep. Definitely. Right, so I'm going to get some other cards. Let me see. I'll get some zodiac signs, but this, yeah. This emperor definitely could be a fire sign. I got the king of wands and the emperor card come out together here. But this just means this emperor is ready to take passionate action here on their wish fulfillment. <laughs> They're going to move to camera waters with you, feminine. Oh my goodness. King of Pentacles. So again, so this is just heavy counterpart energy here because I'm getting the King Queen of Cups, the King Queen of Pentacles. This person, this um, masculine energy is coming in here to finally come in and be vulnerable to you and tell you the truth. <laughs> And there we go, Chariot and the Ace of Pentacles again. We got that ages ago when I shuffled the first time and it's come back round again. So this person is going to need to come in here with a very powerful offer. Um, and it's a, Again, I think it's a very traditional offer, something, a promise of something very beautiful and traditional. So it could be, you know, let's date for a while, but then with the with the future yeah this person's going to move to camera waters with his divine his divine goddess here and oh my little my <laughs> and that's the truth i was going to say my little um wind chimes chimed when i said that and then the truth um the ace of swords came out so that is the truth yeah the sun again yeah, this, yeah, I just saw the sun and the so cups. Yeah, this, this masculine knows, know, knows who he loves now. He knows who he's meant to be with. It's taken him a while because I think he was really jaded in the past, but he's coming in here. Let's get some zodiac signs. As I say, I'll do, I feel there's, a, there's definitely some sort of past life influence here, which I'll, probably do an extension of tomorrow night. There's definitely a lot of um, Egyptian energy here. And I was picking up, weirdly I was picking up on French, a lot of French um, elements the last few days and King Farouk was known to be, he was like the replica of King Louis in France who was quite flamboyant and a bit of a, a ladies man and stuff like that as well. Um, because I think um, King Farouk was renowned for being a bit of a player. Um, he had a very, he was very flamboyant, very, 
he, he liked European kind of fashion and stuff as well. Um, I've not read up much about him yet, so that's why I want to get some more information. This, I'm telling you, this is a powerful twin flame connection. As all my messages are these days, but yeah, this this is. Uh, this is a twin flame connection that I don't feel has been fraught with any major third parties, no negativity. Yeah, this person just, look, I ran and I made the wrong choice. The universe is pulling this back together. Peace can be brought to this situation without a doubt. This is peaceful resolution. The universe is pulling this couple back together. I ran, I made the wrong choice. And in this case, I don't believe, I think the masculine just made the wrong choice because he never ran after you, feminine. <laughs> I think in this case, the feminine walked away and the masculine made the wrong choice by not going after you. Because remember the songs, Blue, If You Come Back In My Life and The Spice Girls Say You'll Be There and Dedicated To One I Love. So listen to those songs if this resonates and you know there's been no major third party involvement you're just two powerful um twin flame souls love yourself first i cannot honestly i get I, I tire myself talking about this to everyone but give yourself the love first choose yourself and this feminine chose herself this is how you do it when your person doesn't give you because all twin flame connections have unrequited have um unrequited feelings okay because one loves the other more than the other one gives back and that's why there's a rejection and emotions and stuff like that that floods through the feminine because they're they're so rejected and hurt but that is what happens in a twin flame connection and this feminine chose herself she said you know what if you're not willing to give me the love that i deserve i'm going to give it to myself she loved herself and that is what has caused this masculine now to come in running. Sagittarius. I keep on getting this, this King of Wands Sag energy every night. There's definitely a powerful Sagittarius masculine. Um, definitely in the collective, quite, probably quite a few of them. Um, so yeah, that is what is this. I'm telling you, the divine masculine cannot resist their feminine when they're loving on themselves. Because that is effectively pulling in your reflection when you're loving on yourself and feeling that same love in here that you feel for your person but feeling it for yourself that is like pulling your the other half of your soul back in to you which sorry about all the burn, which will make your person want to do the same as you're doing to yourself you're each other's mirror image yeah i was feeling that this connection's ascending towards union Definitely is. Definitely is. Yeah, this person. Now, hmm. I'm just, so I'm just, because sometimes when this card comes out, whatever zodiac signs right behind it can be someone who cheated on you with the zodiac sign. <laughs> but I don't know if this person, because I wasn't getting any third party energies. This could have been somebody. Um, now, this, this could just be somebody this mask could want to give a capricorn feminine a bunch of flowers here or this masculine is a, a capricorn because i really wasn't feeling a third party in the the reading at all as i say maybe it was it could have been their ex or something that was holding them back but only because um as i said i felt there was maybe something that had to be closed out through the justice system possibly so the, this ex could have really have jaded them. Yeah, they, they told you this person's having to heal from whatever this um, karmic relationship was that stopped this masculine opening up and giving you love. You just met them at the wrong time. This is, this is a twin flame union. It's coming in. Feminine, yeah, I, my nose is itchy, so that's true. Divine Feminine, you met this masculine at a time when he was healing from whatever this karmic relationship was they've been in. Now I feel that I think they've been hurt in that previous relationship in some way and it jaded them on love and commitment. And when they met you, 
their heart was completely closed off to connections of any kind of love. I think they were totally jaded on the idea of commitment to anyone. And sadly, obviously you wanted commitment. And it made you it made you turn and walk away. And this person let you go because I feel they were being very egotistical, very stubborn. You know, they they were almost like, no, well, they want something from me, I'm not willing to offer, so they can just go. I mean, I've been I've been used to women bullying me in the past and I'm not gonna do it. But then it's when you walked away, feminine, I think that's what changed this situation. Libra, so somebody could have Libra on their chart. Um Divine timing, of course. Everything happens in divine timing. Nothing can be rushed. It's like a fine wine, isn't it? The longer it, the longer it stays fermenting, the better it is. Uh, well, I can only assume I don't drink wine. <laughs> I've never been a wine drinker, but I've heard wine drinkers tell me it's a good wine when it's fermented a long time. So there could be, look, um, so somebody could be about to embark on a new career doing something creative here. Um, anything else? Any other zodiac signs apart from Capricorn? And I mean, we did get a lot of fire and earth, but we did get the some water as well. Oh yeah, we've got Libra too. So far, yeah, we've got, we've got one of each sign. Um, any other zodiac signs in the charts of the people I'm picking up on here? Any other zodiac signs? So yeah, there could be flowers coming to, doesn't deserve to be flowers, but an apology coming to a Capricorn female or a feminine. Um, now, what did I say to you about this person saying, and there's Aquarius right behind that, so this person could have friends on an Aquarius. I did get, so there has been a third party interference which I do believe was this person's past energy. Now, I'm not saying that person was energetically in between the connection, um, sorry, physically in between the connection, but energetically they left this person scarred for any other connection. And remember I kept on saying this person just wanted a friend, not a, a lover. Um, so I think you just come into their life at their own time, feminine, when they were at the point where they just wanted a friend and not a lover. Um, any other signs? So Aquarius, look, this is something that can have in the charts of the people involved here. Aquarius, Libra, Capricorn, Sagittarius. <laughs> Powerful loved ones and ancestors guiding this connection. You've got a lot of help from the spirit world here to bring you both back together and the universe. As we've got the universe is guiding this connection as well. Anything else? Any other zodiac signs? So, so far, Sagittarius, Libra, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Anything else? Anything else? And I'll get another deck. Scorpio. I, I did feel a bit of water. Yeah, definitely. So, somebody could have Scorpio in the chart as well. And I just split the deck on the conversation card. So, we did, we did get the, the Knight of Cups. Um, I do think this person is coming in here. This is definitely a twin flame union coming in. And as I said that, I split the deck. Look, I literally spit it. Spit it. <laughs> I literally don't want to spit it on it, no. Um, this is a... I split the deck on that, as I said that. So, yeah. Powerful year for twin flame unions. I mean, I really, really feel that. And it's a, an, an awesome energy. So I'll just clarify with some of the relationship um, deck and then I will get I will get a song and I'll also get the Ascended Master deck since yeah there's definitely some because I kept on seeing the engagement ring in my own deck there as well Clarity is coming in here and again the engagement ring can I get some cards for this connection? Can I get some cards for this connection, please? <laughs> Cupid's arrow. It says, have faith. 
love is love is coming in surprise invitation wow surprise invitations that we love this person could be about to invite you to go out for coffee or something or go on a date of some kind mirroring now what did i say about you mirroring each other this has been balanced out because there, oh, there's obviously no negative feelings towards each other because that's what balances out the energy as well as soon as you stop feeling negative towards your twin that means you're loving on yourself so as i say to everyone um if you're still saying you can't stand your twin and you're sending your twin negativity and hate for rejecting you for choosing a karmic etc etc that mirrors back so that means you're sort of self-loathing because you're so it means you're, you've lost and i get it because i went through that phase myself you lose confidence completely lose confidence in yourself even more than you had before because you think i'm not good enough but when you balance out the energy and you start to realize i am good enough i do deserve better i do deserve love i am worthy of love i am you know i am the prize i am the catch i am the one that got away from this person when you start realizing that about yourself that then that then mirrors back and your twin starts to treat you like the way you're treating yourself so I, I, that's the best way to describe it everything happens mirrored so hammer now this can be about self-sabotage and i do feel this masculine did self-sabotage this connection just purely because they were not ready for commitment but this card is also about rebuilding so i do feel there is an opportunity here to rebuild this connection um if you're both willing to to try um yeah someday feminine i believe this is you um that was that was basically keeping very quiet keeping very stoom on things which um and then the runners here as well so this person can't really read you right now, Feminine, because I do believe you're keeping yourself to yourself, keeping very quiet. But I think this is also saying the runner's getting ready to take a risk. So your person's getting ready to risk it all to come back here and try and rebuild this connection. I mean, maybe on both sides, you know, you're both need to be willing to take a risk again on this connection, take a leap of faith on it. So self-indulgence. Yeah, this is what you're both focusing on right now. Self-love, self-care. And this is the way, this is the way to do it. There's no other, there is no other thing for you to do. When you are the divine feminine, you are the one that controls the connection. So this is not only a twin flame connection, this is a powerful past life, soul connection as well. You guys have a very strong bond from numerous lives. Yeah, partnership, soul contract, life partnership. So you're not only twin flames, you are powerful soul um soulmates as well. You have, have had numerous past lives together. So not today, boundaries, avoiding conversations, not dealing, still upset. So I believe this could be you, feminine. You really set up you really set boundaries here with this person and said you weren't talking to them as long as they're going to treat you like a friend with benefit. And I get it, because I did the same. I went, no thank you. I never got to this point in my life dealing with, you know, idiots using me and psych psychologically abusing me, physically abusing me to be used as a friend with benefit. So I feel this feminine did the same. And when you did that feminine... It changed someone's complete, completely changed someone's perspective on this connection. It completely changed their perspective. Can I get a wee bit more? A wee bit more of what this masculine hopes here, hopes when he returns to this feminine. Um, what he wants to say, what he wants to achieve here. I'm saying he, switch it around if need be. Oh, you always do that to me. <laughs> so he hopes to achieve a date. Now, I did say this person's coming in with some sort of invite of a date or something like that. There's some, they want to ask you out on a date, which is going to be more than just a date. Because I feel it's going to be them finally opening up to you about how they feel. 
are going to finally open up to you and tell you how much they actually, you actually mean to them and they made a big mistake. <laughs> yeah, karmic relationship. They had to let go of the negativity around a karmic relationship that was holding them back here. They're going to tell you this. They're going to say to you, the reason why I refuse to offer you something more is because I've been hurt in the past. But look, all this had to happen. This separation had to happen to allow this butterfly energy to come in. And I explain, this is how I explain it to everyone. Twin flame separation is a cocoon phase. You go into your separation phase and that isn't every twin flame has to go into a separation phase. Even the ones who have been married. I mean, people who have been married to their twin, um, who they don't even know they're married to their twin flame. That goes into separation as well. I mean, the love's still there, but the separation process has to be the same in order to make you stronger. Um, and this this has all been necessary here for this connection to, yeah, to become more grounded and stable. Because you can't build a solid foundation on shaky ground. It's just not possible. So if one is feeling the love and feeling ready to move into a solid commitment and the other one's still jaded and doesn't want to offer commitment because they're scared because of a karmic situation from their past, the separation had to occur. <coughs> Excuse me. The separation had to occur and allow, to allow this butterfly cocoon phase to take place. So anything else before I get um, a few other cards? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person I think is um, praying for you before they go to sleep at night and I think they're asking you to say a little prayer for them as well. I think you could be. <laughs> so there's a clock, divine timing. There is an expression of love coming in here. Um, this person, this person wants to come in here, and there's a coffee cup as well. So there is some sort of date coming in here. This person definitely wants to give you a love offer of some kind here. Um, and it's all coming in in divine timing. But there is, this connection is evolving. This person is going to be getting in touch soon. There's going to be some sort of invitation for a date or something like that. So just be careful because you're mirroring each other even more so at this time when you're in this kind of, because um, we got the yin yang card, which means your energies are balancing out together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this person is going to come in and shock the heck out of you. He is going to... As I say, he it could be a she, it just it switch the rules around if necessary, but this person is going to shock you and it's going to completely transform this connection because I feel this person, when they actually get the strength to come in and admit the truth and actually admit that they they love you, that is going to like, it's going to be, it's, it's just going to transform the whole dynamic of the connection completely. This is my little deck. Um, now I've ordered another one of this deck because um, I wanted to get it with different writing but I will be giving it away on my channel a little, um, this is just a little deck of like positive thinking that I created, positive way to look at yourself and it's just called Be The Real You and um, again that's my artwork, someone carrying their heart above their head, that's self love, always carrying around a huge heart for yourself. So this is um, and I've ordered one of this and I'll also order one of my no communication decks and I'll I'll give I'll give that away on my channel. It'll probably be within the next few weeks once this so I'll get I'll give away this and my no communication deck um as a little prize giveaway because I haven't done that since I got a thousand subscribers so I'll definitely do that. Um so I've ordered it to come through. So let's see. Can I get some cards, please, for this connection? Advice for this connection. Words of motivation. Okay. Okay. 
I know they're going to put this card out all the time because they love anything about forgiveness. <laughs> so forgiveness is not for your enemies, but for you. The weight of resentment and anger can slow down your healing, can slow down your journey towards healing. So this, honestly, this is very important for all twin flames because you really need to, forgiveness is the key to moving into your kind of union state, first of all, within self, you know, forgiving your twin will allow you to move into union within yourself and then, but also forgiveness for anything that's been done in the 3D um, will help your union to move into the 3D. So it says, beauty comes from within. If others can't see your inner beauty, it's because they are not willing to see the real you. And that's true. You need to know you are enough. Just because someone makes you feel not beauty, not beautiful, not, um, I'm thinking of beauty of the beast for some reason. Um, if someone is making you feel like you're not beautiful, you're not worthy, you're not good enough, it's because they haven't, they're not taking the time to get to see the real you. And I feel this masculine knows how beautiful you are, but they never really saw the real beauty from within you because they were too busy keeping their boundaries up and keeping you as a friend but now they know they can't bring you down anymore all they did was make you stronger and more capable of spreading your wings so this is for both masculines and feminines whoever's tried to hurt you whatever karmic energy has tried to bring you down keep you down keep you small keep you stuck stop you from moving into your higher self and into your your happiness, your, your joy, your peaceful, abundant time, they can't hurt you anymore. Just think of it as they've done you a favour. Because that's what I say all the time. I now thank the people that hurt me and betrayed me and kicked me when I was down and tried to keep me small and tried, tried to stop me from being my true self because they've actually just made me a stronger, more, um, a, a stronger, more capable person and more at peace with myself than I've ever been. So I thank my enemies. <sighs> this friendship, I, yeah, I told you, this was a friendship. This friendship will lead to happiness. This person is your soulmate. And as your friendship deepens, your love for each other will too. This person definitely needs, or they, they said to you in the past, I just need a friend right now. I don't want a commitment. This, But this person now knows how much they love you. So... This is definitely a friendship that's deepening. Um, it's definitely deepening as we speak. So let me see. So, <laughs> this is what I'm just saying. Turn your pain into beauty. Create something wonderful out of your heartbreak. Create a masterpiece that represents your journey. Write a book, write a song, write a poem, paint a picture. Whatever comes to your mind, turn your pain into art of some kind. Turn your pain into a work of art. Can I get one more from this deck, please? Can I get one more? <laughs> like, no, you can have two more. <laughs> Okay, someone is letting their ego get in the way of this connection. They need to, to lose you in order to see how much you mean to them. Exactly what I've been saying this entire reading. I'm just so glad my cards match up. <laughs> I'm just so glad. So yeah, this, someone had to lose you feminine in order to realise how much you meant to them. You give so much to others. When you take time out to show that love to yourself, you will begin to see others want to show you more love too. Again, thank you to my guides for confirming just what I've been saying. Give the love to yourself first and that will be mirrored back to you, not just by your twin, by everyone. Self-love is such an important part of your spiritual journey, not just for your twin flame journey, but for your spiritual journey. Um, I mean, it's <sighs> unconditional love for yourself is the, the start of any, like, um, Everyone emailed me all the time saying, how can you activate my gifts? How can you, how can you activate my gifts? How can I activate, activate my gifts? I can't tell you enough. Self-love, self-care and spending time in solitude. Now, I'm not saying always spend time in solitude, but I'm saying taking even 10 minutes out of your day 
just to connect with God and the angels. Just allow yourself that daily connection to God first and foremost. But always give yourself the love first. Now, I'm not saying don't give it to others, but sometimes put sometimes put you up on your list of priorities near the top as well, because you deserve to be on your priority list and you deserve to be someone else's priority too. Be proud of yourself. You are the phoenix rising from the ashes. This too shall pass. So they're just saying, be proud of yourself for coming this far. Listen to your heart. It is the only truth you will ever need. Allow your heart to guide you towards your divine destiny. Exactly. Oh, always listen to your heart. Always follow your heart. And I know it's easy sometimes to get your heart and your ego. Your heart and ego can, can confuse things at the time. But honestly, when you really tune into your, your heart, that is the divine portal which connects you to God. And that will never lie to you. Your heart is the only truth you'll ever need. Okay? Um, let's get a Divine Masters card and then I will get a No Communication card and then a song to finish. <sighs> I'm over the hour. How do I do this every friggin' time? I just don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you tell me which Divine Masters energy are working with this connection right now? Horus and Melchizedek. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I definitely felt when I felt um, his energy coming through earlier, um, he was definitely working with whatever this twin flame couple is, is whoever this twin flame couple is too. Okay. So, Guru Ram Das. So, miraculous moment. Harmony surrounds you. Expect miracles. Wow. I'm so tingly. I'm so excited. That is amazing. Whoever you are, if you're watching this and you think my masculine, just let me go. They're not chasing me. You know, the friends own me. Miracles are about to happen. Expect beautiful miracles. Oh my goodness. Wow. Anything else? To any other um, divine masters energy this couple are working with? Oh my goodness. Metatron and Sandalphon. Oh, I love this card. Sacred Connection. So synchronicity, divine connection, understanding the lessons. So this mask was learning a divine lesson here. He was learning a lesson about having his heart closed off to... Now this mask, as I say, could have been quite harsh towards you, feminine. They could have been quite cold, quite harsh in the things they said. And they pushed away what I feel was a blessing on their life. And I love this because Archangel Metatron and Sandal Fawn are twin flames as well. So they're definitely um, working with this couple. Obviously Metatron helps with the third eye and opening up the telepathic connection. But Sandal Fawn is also there to help clear away any karmic um, debts or lessons or anything like that. And to help people clear away any karmic cords that's holding them back. So wow, uh, that's amazing. That is... That is absolutely amazing. I love that. So miracles and Metatron and Sandalphone. <laughs> and you couldn't have and I mean they are both powerful archangels and ascended masters. So they understand what it takes to be both a being of love and light and to be human. So that is why they're so powerful to work with. So let's see. Um any other beautiful divine masters energies here? Thank you for thank you for being here, Divine Masters, for your love, light, and wisdom throughout. And it's got a lovely cold feeling up my legs, so they're definitely close. Any other energies? I don't need too many. Mary Magdalene was in the bottom, but two there are a big chunk of them come out, so I'll just wait. One more, please. One more. One more. If you have one more. Too many want to come out. There's like big chunks of them trying to come out, but I just want one or two at the most. <laughs> Thank you. Well, yeah, definitely I saw Horus a few times when I was shuffling. So Horus, manifestation vortex, um, belief, right, belief makes manifest, thoughts attract and create. So this is just saying keep your keep your thoughts 
positive and I say this in all my meshes as well. Keep your thoughts truly positive and we've got beautiful Isis on the bottom there. So Horus and Isis energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're saying to this out. Um, I definitely was feeling a powerful Egyptian energy today. Give me one more. Give me one more, please. I'm feeling one more. <laughs> they gave me loads more. I said one more. Oh my goodness. So, it says, Matt, divine intervention. Weigh up your options. Choose the higher good. So this, this masculine definitely went through some sort of terror moment, which was to make him see which direction to take for his highest and greatest good. Lady Nada, expanded heart, openness, liberation, let yourself love and be loved. The masculine is working with this energy right now to open fully up to love. Even though they've been really hurt in the past, this is the energy that they're in just now, getting help to open up to love and allow themselves to be loved first and foremost. So Toth, divine magic, the teacher awakens, the student becomes the master. This masculine <clears throat> could be a writer of some kind, um, or the feminine is, because obviously Toth is the he he's best known for his writing skills for being considered one of the first scribes ever. Um, so Toth is definitely coming through here now. Toth is a very magical ascended master for and for many many things. So to be working with Toth. And all these other beautiful divine master energies. This is definitely a very, very powerful, powerful twin flame connection. And we'll maybe delve into it a bit more tomorrow night with um if the same energy comes through for a past life reading. But the energies here are beautiful. And even better, I don't feel any negative energy between this. There was as I say, this was just um a masculine who was hurt in a previous connection, and that was and I stop shuffling in beautiful Lord Jesus on the bottom. Isn't that amazing? Uh, so let's get no communication cards from my deck, which I say I will put up for um, a prize with my other deck I've just used as well. So um, once I get a, a, a deck of each from my printer, I mean, these cards are available in my shop, um, but I'll, I would like to... To give away um, a, a deck of each of them as well. So let me see. Let me see. I'll get a song to finish out. So can I get some no communication cards please from this masculine to his feminine. This masculine. I ghosted you because I know I could not make you happy. So this person let you go and they never got in touch again. And if they have been in touch, it's been minimal contact. Um, so this person did literally um, let you go and then never try to chase you. They didn't come after you. They just literally ghosted you. Um, I feel alone and isolated in this toxic situation. So I feel your person definitely um, has, I felt right from the start your person was going through a dark night of the soul and this is them clearing out that's why Sandalphon and Metatron will be with them because he's having to he or she is having to clear out all this sort of negative emotions and the karmic um, cords will be getting cut away from this masculine's life and it can feel quite a dark place um, but as I always say you have to go through the darkness to get to the light but unfortunately there's no other way you have to go through your shadow. You have to embrace your shadow. And remember your twin flame is your shadow. So in order for your twin to get back into the light, you have to go through a dark night of the soul. Our friendship and bond only deepens our love. Again, another card of friendship, becoming love. Um, This person definitely just tried to keep you as a friend because they weren't ready to give you love. But all that's happening is in separation, your friendship's becoming much more. Um, this person is realising that they love you. I betrayed your trust, but I want to make things right. Now, we did get the bunch of flowers. So this person um, 
definitely be, feel feel like they betrayed your trust. And I think it's just because they didn't come after you. They didn't. They didn't. Um, they weren't honest about how they felt, and they let you walk away. But this person may have allowed a karmic situation from their past. We have a divine mission and a purpose together. So this person now is awakened to the fact that you both have a very powerful soul mission and divine purpose together. So they they now understand that. But I think they they feel they they um they definitely feel they betrayed your trust when maybe they said or maybe they they made out to you that they still cared about their ex or something. I don't actually think they did. Um, not in the, the, the way they love you. They may have said, you know, I feel still connected to my ex or something because we had a lot of... I, I mean, there was something here about an ex that held this masculine back, but I'm not saying they were still with the ex, but the energetic cord was still there with the ex, is what I'm trying to say. I collaborated against you. I made the wrong decision. So maybe this masculine did allow someone to talk... Um, Maybe this masculine sided with somebody else against you. Maybe their ex accused you of something or this might not even be something you know about yet. <laughs> um, but you're finding out about it now. Um, I'm waving a white flag. So this masculine does want to come in here and have some sort of peaceful resolution with you. I have learned so much from you. I'm a better person for it. Thank you. So this person has learned a lot about themselves from you. They have learned more about love they've learned more about their spiritual journey um as i say i didn't pick up major third party energies but i do feel there was a, a definitely a karmic energy from this person's past a karmic relationship from this person's past now this person may have sided with the karmic or something um against you or i'm not sure what happened here but Everything and everyone reminds me of you. So this person is seeing you everywhere they go. And I don't mean literally seeing you, but, you know, they could be every single thing. Like, they could walk past a florist and see a bunch of flowers that remind them of you because they're your favourite flowers. They could be seeing, you know, they could walk past a bakery and see, um, you know, a Victoria sponge in the window and go, oh, you know, that's the, the, the cake we had the last time we went for coffee. There's definitely... Um, I thought I knew what I wanted, but boy, was I wrong. So this person thought they wanted to be single, that they wanted to be a knight of wands energy. They wanted to play the field and not offer commitment to you after a toxic karmic situation, but they were wrong. I don't love them. I love you. Yeah, that's what I feel. There's a there's some, they may have loyalty or they may have had loyalty to a karmic relationship and that held them back from offering love to you, but they... They don't actually love them. They love you. Can I get a couple more um, no communication messages then I'll get a song to close out this reading. I lied about being single. I wish I was. Okay. That changes things a bit now because it shows that this person was still... Now, they, don't, they didn't have to necessarily be with this person, but they were definitely still married to them because I did feel um, there was some sort of legal thing going going in place so this person may have told you they were divorced um i ran because your love overwhelms me and i'm not used to it yeah this person ran from your love it just overwhelmed them i don't share the same beliefs or think like you do and i felt that earlier in the reading as well this person could be some sort of to do with cultural or religious differences <sighs> I'm about to propose, will you say yes? <laughs> oh my goodness, I did. I, I kept seeing the Three of Cups and then I, I kept seeing the engagement in that deck and I saw the engagement in that deck and I, I feel there's some sort of powerful energy if someone wants to come in and offer you something serious here and it could be that serious. Um, My guilt is weighing me down and keeping me awake at night. So this person really does feel guilty for not coming after you. Not they, when you walked away from them, they just ghosted you. And they may have, as I say, they definitely could have. I mean, they could have. So, for example, if you said if you said something about their karmic, their their karmics in their past or something. I need to heal from my childhood trauma. So this person definitely could have had some childhood trauma as well. 
um, that stopped them from opening up to love. But I feel this person, they could have, so for example, if you had said something about their, their karmic ex, so, you know, oh, I wouldn't trust them, you maybe could see what their karmic ex was doing to them, still kind of trying to control them. And you may have said to this person, I think your ex is trying to manipulate you or something like that. And he could have went and told, or she could have went and told your karmic ex you said these things. And then the karmic ex could have made up lies about you that you, you know, there, there was something, this person feels like they, they went against you, they collaborated against you. So whatever that means to you, whether that means they went along with a lie or, you know, they sided with, um the karmic over you or something but yeah this person they did keep you as a friend because they couldn't they couldn't they were still recovering and getting over a karmic relationship that they were healing from um and I, as i say i feel there was this person may have told you they were divorced from this person but they weren't there was still some sort of energetic cord there leave a light on for me so this person saying we are coming back to you they are going to be returning to you very, very soon. That this, you are their, you are their light feminine. You are their light in the dark. And they're, I do feel like they're going through a dark night of the soul. So they're in the dark right now, but keep a light on for them. So it says, <clears throat> if you went through a breakup with someone in the past, but it felt like it wasn't really over, this is why. Someone from your past is working on healing themselves from old wounds bettering their life and trying to be a better person for you. They are asking you to leave a light on for them. This is your person letting you know they are coming home soon before you close that door completely on this connection. So this person is coming back. <clears throat> Any other songs for this Twin Flame connection? <clears throat> Can't Stop This Thing We Started by Brian Adams. Each reader who gets this card will have their own thoughts on divine love and counterparts. But for me, when this song comes out, is a sign that a divine couple are going through the motions to get back to one another. When you meet your counterpart, soulmate or twin flame, it triggers a series of events and a journey that will change your life forever. You can't stop it when it starts. All you can do is embrace the love and surrender to your destiny. And that's exactly what's happening right now. So... Love is in the air. <laughs> Love really is in the air. I never realised it till after I went on my spiritual journey. But everything around us carries a feeling of love. Nature, every raindrop, the wind, the sun, the moon and the stars is all created with love. When we open our heart to the possibility of unconditional love, we can attract unconditional love to us like a magnet. A beautiful new love could be headed your way if you get this card in your reading. So... Whoever wrote these cards, they really know what they're talking about. <laughs> I'm just, just a bit bigging myself up. You don't give myself a bit of self-love there. So, oh my goodness. Ah, I'm tickling my nose, I like that one. I'm giving myself the, giving myself props. Can I get one more song card? One more song card, please, to close out the reading. I know, if, I knew when I said one more, they would give me three. Um, I can't read all of them. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll, read, I'll read them all. So there's definitely, the third party here could have been um, someone, this person, this definitely could have been someone they had family with because I was feeling maybe paying child maintenance or something when I saw the justice card. So it says, um, this is my card of family drama. It could be sibling rivalry, childhood patterns, traumas, resentment. And we did get this masculine having to deal from childhood trauma as well. We got the six of cups, so possibly. Um, traumas, resentments or family fallouts. This card could also represent family interference with your person, either you or their family standing in the way of your connection. Maybe for cultural, spiritual or financial differences or reasons as well. So I did feel that too. Um, you will overcome all these challenges. Forgive who you need to in order to move forward. So I felt all of that. There were some sort of interference with someone um, and definitely some to do with the childhood trauma. Um, so... When will I see you again by the three degrees? 
So it says, when this card comes out in your reading, it means that someone is pining for your energy. They miss you and really want you back in their life again. This person wants to make new memories with you and spend the rest of their life showing you how much they adore you. So this person really does want to see you again soon for a date or something. And the last card, Jesus Take the Wheel by Carrie Underwood. And I love this song. It resonates with me so much. When this card comes out for you, it means that whatever you're dealing with right now, be it love, financial worries or health issues, now is the time to turn to your guardian angels and surrender your destiny to Jesus. For when we truly put our faith in the divine and God, letting go of the outcomes and living in the moment, our lives can transform in the most beautiful way. And I can testify to that. And I literally can. So thank you so much for watching. I am so truly grateful to you all for all the love and the, honestly, all the love and light you bring to my channel just with your very divine presence. And I say that because I, I actually feel so much beautiful divine energy from you all. Just in the comments you leave and the emails you send me. So thank you so, so much. It means a lot to me and I hope you're all taking time out to, to rest and chill a bit, especially the beautiful Divine Feminines out there who have really done so much work and put in so much effort and that is why the energies are shifting so beautifully and so rapidly towards union. So well done to you all. I salute you all. I salute you all and um, thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully get back tomorrow night with a, a, a nice past life reading. We'll focus on some past to present energies tomorrow night. Definitely a powerful Egyptian energy here, um, which we'll focus on tomorrow night. But take care and sending lots of love and light. Namaste.